Okay, shalom, shalom, shalom. Kwam ya sa'ala. Kohulim la. Yahweh, bahashim, Yahweh shai, bahashim, rakahakodash. There were honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say to all the other Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh, bahashim, Yahweh shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just seeing this article on these damn Edomites, man. It says, atheist celebs, atheist celebrities, these stars do not believe in God. And it's not surprising because, you know, a lot of those Hollywood, Hollywood, you know, actors and stuff like that, they most definitely are into the most wickedest of things. But this is to be expected as well of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You know, no one really, you know, I mean, none of these Edomites, they don't believe, they believe, the ones that believe that there's a God, they believe in a white Jesus. You get to telling them about, you know, the Lord is not a white guy, his name is not Jesus. If he was walking the earth today, he would be a dark melanated man. His name is Yahawashai, you know, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew, and they'll shun that. So they won't really believe, because see, you have to believe in the volume, but the Lord comes in the volume of the book. You have to believe in him as he is, you know, the, the father and the son as they are in the scriptures. Any any little adding to, any little taking away, any of that, it doesn't matter what his skin color is and all that stuff. Now, nah, you are, are, are um, pretty much a damn demon, man. Well, <laughs> you know, but it, this is not to be surprising here. You got this guy, Hugh Laurie. You can, you can clearly see he's just a damn demon. 2007, the British actor known for his role as the sarcastic Dr. House confessed to the Sunday Telegraph that he is an atheist. He stated, I don't believe in God, but I have this idea that if there were a God or destiny of some kind looking down on us, that if he saw you taking anything for granted, he'd take it away. Look at this fucking man. You got this one. Helen Maureen. The award-winning actress from Queen opened up about the religious beliefs in 2013 interview with Women in Home magazine. Maureen said, I would describe myself as a Christian who doesn't believe in God. I can't help being a Christian because I was brought up in Britain and the morality of the Christianity is part of the fabric of the country, but I don't believe in God. But I do believe in trying others how you would like to be treated, or I guess he's saying treating others like how they would like to be treated. <coughs> Slack you. <coughs> Slack you. Daniel Radcliffe, known for his iconic role in Henry Potter films, the British actor, and you, come on, bro. The British, <laughs> the British actor revealed in 2009 interview that he does not believe in the existence of God. He said, I'm an atheist, but I'm very relaxed about it. I don't preach my atheism, but I have a huge amount of respect for people like Richard Dawkins who do. Yeah, right. Brad Pitt. These are people that you look up to. These are idols. You know, that people, you know, they, they run up on them. They want autographs, all this shit, you know. It says at some point in his career, the interview with the vampire actor described himself as 20% atheist and 80% agnostic. Stating that he doesn't think people want to know what's beyond. Well, it's coming to a point where you're going to see, uh, damn it. James Cameron, the mastermind behind iconic films like Titanic, has revealed that he once practiced agnoc agnoc agnoctism. Agnoc agnosticism, Salakia, which he described as cowardly atheism. <laughs> this was mentioned in his biography, okay? You got this one, Julian Moore, 2002, the award-winning star of Steel Alice was asked what she would like to hear God say on the day of the arrives at Heaven's Gates after the death of Julian Moore, after, the, after her death. Julian Moore responded by imitating God's response to her arrival saying, well, I guess you were wrong, I do exist. Edomites, man, Angelina Jolie. So here you have Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie adopting kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> adopting kids and raising them as atheists. 
Like her former partner, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie does not believe in the existence of God. Instead, she favors spirituality over organized religion. This one right here, you you know, it, 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 it you know, it's not surprising. Jolie Foster. So she spoke to Entertainment Weekly about her religious beliefs, stating that she is an atheist. The actress said, I absolutely love religions and the rituals, even though I don't believe in God. We celebrate pretty much every religion in our family with the, with the kids. And then you have this guy, um, Javier Bardeen, interview with GQ magazine. The handsome Spangier <laughs> and husband of Penelope Cruz declared himself an atheist using humor to convey his point. He quipped, I've always said that I don't believe in God. I believe in Al Pacino. See? And there you have it, man. Here's another one. He's the last one. And it's no surprise. I mean, when you see these people, it's no surprise. The British, and you notice a lot of these are British, British people. I'm assuming maybe this is um, where the origin of this um, particular publication is at. British comedian Ricky um, Garvis has been very open about the lack of belief in God, which has been a reoccurring theme in his interviews and comedy routines. In 2010, he even wrote an essay on the topic that was published by the Wall Street Journal. Then, of course, you go into the comment boards, whatever. It's not going to be a long lesson. I just seen this and found it to be interesting. But it's no surprise. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he does not believe in 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 in, in um 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He believes in himself. He believes in his science. He believes what he can see. See, the Israelites were given something special, man. When he when the Lord gave the Israelites the spirit that he gave them, he gave them a spirit of faith. You know? And though a lot of our people, you know, the scripture talks about um how So yeah, our people have a zeal for Yahweh, but um, not according to knowledge. Because a lot of our people, you know, they're no better off really by believing in white Jesus. You know, if you believe in white Jesus, who they call Jesus in general, you are no different than these people. You're no better off. It's that simple. You have to repent to the father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans which are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. See, you learn white Jesus from these very people that don't believe in a God. You learn white Jesus from um, Esau, the so-called white man, when you were in slavery. You, you would have never known about white Jesus had we not been enslaved here in the Americas. You would have never thought of, 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 of worshiping a so-called white man as your God before you were in, 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 um, beat down, uh, scared, or terrorized into believing in that image. And to this very day, a lot of our people still on that shit, you know. Um, I was just uh, looking at, you know, Trump was here yesterday at the black church. The nigga was sitting there, you know, mesmerizing you Negroes with, with sorcery, man. Enchantments with the lie, those smooth. See, that's what Jake liked to hear, too. The Jake liked to hear smooth words. Speak to us smooth words. And Trump, man, when he was at that interview, I was watching some of it. He's sitting there round table with Negroes around him, just looking doofy and stupid as hell. And he was running game on them like they always do. And then, you know, of course, um, you know, this this one pastor that run that church, 180, you know, he, uh, you know, he he's the guy that's on on Sundays on um, channel, you know, the main channel or whatever here in um, Detroit or whatever. And you could just clearly see that he's not there, man. It's all feel good doctrine feel good Christianity, you can be a Christian, live as you are, the Lord knows that you're a sinner, and you can pretty much just be there, even, as long as you come to church on Sunday, and, and, and you know, repent to white Jesus, and, and put some money in the collection plate, and that's pretty much what this man has done, man, right, but let, let me get this, though, only a fool would say there's no God, man, you can't, you, I mean, the scriptures talked about how, um, the, the, you know, pretty much the creation shows his handiwork. You can't, how can you come outside and look into the sky or look around you and see all these beautiful things and just think that it just came out of um, a Big Bang Theory? It just came out of nowhere. That shit is retarded as hell, bro. 
um, Psalms 14 and 1 to the chief musician of Psalm of David the fool have said in his heart there is no God those are fools they are corrupt and you you could I mean we could clearly see how corrupt um Hollyweird is anyway or that that movie industry shit even these rappers you know these singers that you could clearly see those, those people are weirdos man real corrupt people it says they are corrupt and they have done abominable works ain't no telling what these people are into there is none that do of good and don't tell them what these people are into, man. Because if you don't have no, um, you know, you don't have no belief in Yahweh about Shemiah Messiah, that, that pretty much means you don't have no boundaries. <laughs> you are capable of anything. And it's also in um, Psalms 53 and 1 to the chief musician upon Mahalath, Moscow, of Psalm of David. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they. And have done abominable iniquity. There is none that do of good. See, you got to be a complete damn fool to believe that there is no God, man. That just out of nowhere, all this stuff came. Just out of nowhere, you just came out of nowhere. You believing in Darwin's theory, Big Bang theory. There was nothing one day, and then all of a sudden, boom, everything came. It's crazy, bro. What I'm going to end out here, let me see. Trying to think how it was worded. Yep, this is it. Psalms 19 and 1. To the chief musician of Psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of Yahweh, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. See? The heavens declare it. Look, you, you're trying to tell me just out of nowhere the moon came, the sun came, the stars came. And I'm talking about these things moving in, in actual order. Seasons come. You know? Spring, winter, fall, summer, they come in order. Like a clock, man. The oceans, they can't go past the boundaries of the beach, man. Or, or, or of the of the sand. The Lord said a border for water that powerful. When you think about how large our ocean is and it just don't overflow everything, that lets you know that right there should let you know that there's a God. That somebody created that. Even if you don't want to even call, you don't know his name. You might be like um, the people in the New Testament where they were talking about the unknown God. You might be one of those people, but at least you would believe that, okay, somebody created this. Something created this. Now, oh, I'm an atheist. Oh, you know, I don't believe in shit except for, you know, it's like being invisible. Like, why are you here, fucker? You know, like, like why do you even leave your house? Why do we even know who you are as an actor? <laughs> you know, you don't believe in the Lord. You know, anyway, though, I just wanted to just touch on that. And it didn't surprise me that, you know, and I'm not saying that all these are Edomites because some of them could be Israelites. You know, it's not a color, a color thing. But generally, Edomites, they don't believe in the Lord. These Edomites don't believe in the Lord, man. Straight up. You can just clearly see the wickedness in them. You can see they're corrupt. Look at this dude right here. That Harry Potter shit that he was in, he was in the perfect... You know, um, 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 acting categories and shit and that shit. Cause that, that, that those series of Harry Potter's is wicked as hell. It's all about um demonic shit, witch, witchcraft, sorcery, things of that nature. But they believe in the backdrop on stuff like this. Brad Pitt talking about he twenty percent atheist and eighty percent agnostic. Motherfucker, you confused? And it don't. It just doesn't surprise you. You could just this list of people. It's way more of them. You ask the average um, person that's in Hollywood if they believe in God, and generally they're going to tell you no. If they do believe in, in, in a source of, of spirituality, so to speak, it's basically going to be white Jesus, which is a damn idol. So they might as well not believe in a God anyway. And they're not going to denounce it a lot of the times. You know, you can, you can run that down on Jake, every scripture there is, and get to telling them about, you know, hey, white Jesus is idolatry, man, according to the scriptures. They ain't going to want to hear that, man, because they're so used to, you know, the fact that this is what's been shoved down our people's throat for so long. Right. So I'm going to end out there, man. I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec. These are fools. You following them behind Trump. You following them behind Joe Biden. Those are fools. You're going out to vote for these people. You're going out to vote for foolish, corrupt men. You see? So with that, Kwame Yashallah.